how do you wear crowns? I don't know. Hi guys, it's Maddie, and today we are doing a little trend that's going around. I tried following Blank's makeup tutorial, and I thought I should try this just because, like, I'm not a huge makeup person. I'm just now starting to get into makeup. Like, I literally got my first ever foundation and concealer that actually matches my skin, like, the other day with Nicole. <laughs> Shout out to her because I had to get it for a theater performance I was doing. Usually the makeup I wear is like some mascara, maybe eyeshadow every once in a while, like every <laughs> couple months. Um, and I used to wear concealer, like just concealer a lot, but then I realized that it's like not my color at all because I would just take my mom's concealer and my mom wears stuff that like does not match her and it's like she has a lot darker skin than I do uh, because I'm very white. <laughs> um, so hers looked very orange on me so I stopped wearing it because there would literally just be like orange spots where I was trying to cover my acne and stuff like that so good job me today since I am a, a beauty guru now and I am feeling great looking great ew stop it but I'm gonna follow a Manny MUA tutorial or Manny mwah, blah, 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 whatever same thing. I'm following his full face prom makeup tutorial because it's got like similar colors to what I have and it's like a cut crease so I can like try and follow it like I was doing something that seemed challenging to me because I barely know how to do regular eyeshadow. <laughs> oh I need to take my makeup off. Ah! Oh, <laughs> look how much prettier this side looks compared to that. Why did, haven't I been wearing makeup all along? Oh my gosh no one told me I look like a little like naked mole rat, you know? All right, now we are makeup free and acne covered. <laughs> also, I do not have like any of the things they have um, because I'm a little starter, you know? I'm a little teapot. Oh, I'm just gonna be using like whatever I can find that's like similar or just pretend it's fine. It was really fun. I was, it was when I was straight, so it was, it was a fun time. <laughs> so first things first, I'm gonna go I went to prom when I was straight. Me. That's If that's not me, I don't know what is. Okay, I'm gonna pretend that's a primer and I don't have one of those, so we're just gonna use lotion. I have um, Clinique, whatever the starter lotion is, because we're classy here. Okay, we are lathered up. Okay, my problem with Clinique is like, it's made for like combination skin and very dry skin, and I'm more of a normal slightly combination I'm pretty sure because I get really dry like here and here and then like a little bit on the nose and then like depending on what my eczema is doing like on other parts of my face but like it always leaves this weird like I can it doesn't soak in and I can just feel it and it's kind of gross and it doesn't smell good either and it's just like sticky I don't like it Smashbox primer water on the face this is brand new on the oh, rest of the face water. Water. okay I looked around for like five minutes around the house not very much I can't find my mom so I can't ask her but I couldn't find like a little spritz bottle because I was just gonna get a little like mist bottle and put some water in it as my primer um but yeah no couldn't find one so I just took a sip of water and we'll just pretend that it's hydrating my face right now it's fine it's fine that's how it works duh don't you know aren't you a beauty guru like I am moving on next part so I'm gonna grab the NARS matte velvet skin tint Okay, so the, from the looks of what he did, he's taking his foundation, which I'm using the um, Revlon Color Stay um, in the shade, I don't know, what is this, Buff 150. He looks like he's putting it on the back of his beauty blender, which I usually put it on the front, but I don't know, I don't know how this works. Okay, I finished my foundation. Here's the thing. I feel like I already have a preference of using this side because this is the side I usually do because now I feel like, I don't know, it just looks different. Maybe that's because I already have like a preference thing on my second day of wearing foundation officially. We're gonna take a brand new concealer. I haven't even tried yet. This is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Concealer. It's a full coverage concealer, so. 
Okay, so I don't have his, but I also have Revlon Color Stay. It's the concealer in O1 Fair. Uh, you want to do like, yeah, look. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Uh. It's literally the same as like the other one, so it's fine. On a little Morphe E46, it's just a nice tapered, small brush. He uses a brush. I don't have a brush like that. Usually I would follow it like directly, but um, I don't have a brush like that. So we're just going to use my beauty blender because that's what I usually do, so. Sorry. Okay, so he does it down the nose. And then he does, oh gosh, and then he does here. We're gonna make a little triangle like I see all the beauty gurus do. Why does this look so bad in the lighting? In person, it looks fine. It's cause this light's yellow and this light's white. That's why, that's what's happening here. Maybe, or I'm just bad at this. How do you blend this part? <laughs> What's up? And using that same beauty blender and setting the under eye just to make sure that there's no creasing. Okay, so I don't have setting powder, but I have this like weird mineral stuff, and we're just gonna pretend we're gonna use that. Is that a different color? Oh gosh, should I be worried? I also think this stuff is like 10 years old and I'm putting it under my eye. Good job, buddy. Oh, wait, should I not do that? That looks kind of, <gasps> I don't like how that feels. You know what, we're gonna do a little experiment. We're gonna just like do it on one side of the face and see how it looks by the end of the video because I feel like this is definitely not my color and I feel like it's just making my skin look cakey and not actually doing anything. But I mean, this isn't a setting powder, powder so like, <laughs> What am I expecting here? I'm gonna take the Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in the shade 02 by Charlotte Tilbury on a Morphe E41. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with this powder all over the face to set the rest of the face. It gives me such a beautiful airbrush. Again, we're just gonna pretend that I'm setting my face because I don't have powder. It's fine. Taking NC25 powder down my neck. I'm gonna take the Marc Jacobs Tantric Bronzer. Okay, okay, I'm prepared, maybe slightly. This really old L'Oreal Paris glam bronzer something and it's like an illuminator bronzer is what it says so should i use that or is like an illuminator like highlighter is this gonna like be sparkly oh this is definitely sparkly oh no should i use this or should i not ah, i spilled it on me you know what for the sake of the video For the sake of the video, we're gonna use it, but I'm horrified. There's literally so much. I don't know if you could see that, probably not, but like, dying. Okay, so it looks like he goes here. Oh gosh, he goes here. Oh no. Oh no, I'm ruining it. I just look like I have a sunburn. That's like orange. Whatever, it's fine. We're using it for the video. This is all that matters. Oh, this is gonna be a fail video. Oh god, oh god. How do I? Breathing it in. He also brings it down here, so I assume he's like slightly contouring, you know what I'm saying, man? I don't know why I'm talking to you like that. Okay, this is definitely an illuminator, not a bronzer. But I mean, what's the difference between bronzer and, and contour? Actually, I'm pretty sure there's a difference, but I'm Maddie. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's fine. She's like, what did you do? Oh, no, it looks like a poop stain. Blend it out, girl. How do you blend? I thought you didn't have a hairline. I thought it was supposed to look glowy. I look dirty. Right there. See right there. I assume you blend it out. I didn't really look. It's fine. I'm going to give myself a jaw on. Because I don't have one. I seem to look like you have a beard. I haven't even gotten to the eye part yet, and that's the part I was afraid of, and I already messed up, because I put illuminator on my face instead of bronzer. This is what I was using, but it's really, really old. It's the only thing I found that was kind of like powder. We don't use powder in this house. My mom is old. Taking the Marc Jacobs Instamark powder, the light yellow one, on a Morphe E48. I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight underneath the eyes. So I have this eyeshadow palette, Rose Gold, from Ulta Beauty, and... It has this yellowy eyeshadow called Picasso? No, Pro... 
Prosecco? I don't know. I can't read. That's This is what it is. That one. And I'm just going to use that for where he's using it. And we're going to pretend that it's a highlighter because I don't have that. Oh my gosh, I thought this was just going to be a fun video, but I'm actually stressing. I feel like you can really see the bags under my eyes right now. <gasps> I forgot to tap it off. What am I doing? I'm not made for the glam beauty life. <laughs> so I'm going to contour off the skin. I'm gonna Is that it? The... Did he not do his nose? The 50 brush and the Bad Habit shade by Nikki Geek, the contour shade. Can you use eyeshadow for contour? I don't think you can, but I already used a ton of that bronzer illuminator um, and I'm not using it again so we're gonna try and find a color that I can use for contour we're gonna go on the safe side and use a lighter one um, breathless in this palette <laughs> it just hit me in the face so I'm gonna use the breathless eyeshadow palette from um, <laughs> rose gold Ultra beauty instead of contour because I don't have one so it's fine He's putting a lot on. Is he? Oh no, I shouldn't have done this. Oh no, how do I fix this? Oh no, what do I do? Hey, where is it? Everyone's like, okay, I should totally get this. How do you fix it? Just blend, just blend, just blend, just blend until you can't. Oh no. Oh no, I'm not cut out for makeup. Oh my gosh, she's getting real wobbly. This is not good. I'm being too aggressive. Stop it, Eddie. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it now, so I'm not cut out for makeup. I'm just gonna stick to my mascara, and that's it. Wait, so why does everything look so much lighter on this side than that side, even though I'm, it's the yellow light? Okay, I just need to stop looking at that side, because it's just the yellow light. We'll move locations when I'm showing this off at the end. But just know I have to do this with two different kinds of lighting, so it's gonna look different. Don't blame me. I'm taking a little Morphe M458 brush and the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, and I'm gonna go underneath the contour line where I want it to go, and just drag it to my mouth. Okay, first off, doesn't he have dry skin? Isn't baking just gonna make it super like cakey and dry? Right? Why is he using so much powder if he has dry skin? Okay, so we're gonna use white eyeshadow. We use a shadow brush. I don't have any other brushes because I'm stupid. We're gonna use Strange in the Naked 3 palette. It's not quite white, it's like an off-white. Is it shimmery? I hope not. Well, if it is, oh well. He's contouring his nose. So we're gonna use the one from earlier that I was thinking of using. We're gonna use this one, it doesn't have a name because this is a cheap brand. My mom tends to buy cheap makeup because she uses it a lot and makeup's expensive. And also, she just doesn't take very good care of it. And <laughs> I think she knows that in the back of her head. It says here, oh no, and he kind of follows it down. And he says, he goes smaller as he goes in, right? So just do that. Why are we contouring? I don't know how to contour the same brush and the same Laura Mercier translucent powder mm -hmm. and that's the areas around it just like I did on my cousin and fine we're just doing a teeny bit I'm gonna do the other side I'm fine I'm fine I feel like it just makes my nose look wider what is happening my nose looks broken how does his look well probably because he's using contour and <laughs> I'm using eyeshadow sure we'll pretend that looks okay so we're gonna go to highlight the face now while wait why was he putting translucent powder in his eyebrow I'm not doing that. I don't know how to do it. is cooking down. I'm going to be taking this new highlighter that I just got. This is the Burberry number one highlighter. It's, oh, it's like a so white, white pearlized highlighter. So I do have a blush and highlighter palette. They're all like colored though. Like this one's like a yellowy even though it looks white on camera. Since I don't have white, we're going to use the lightest tan they have. Um, because the yellow turns out like really yellowy gold which doesn't match with the color he's doing later on, I'm pretty sure. Wait, 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 I'm still doing highlighter. His kind of looks like this one. So we're gonna use this one. He kind of does it in circles under his contour. Oh, his is a little red undertone, so we're gonna mix it a little bit with the other one. Ooh, that's really bright. Never mind, we're not gonna do that. 
Ah, okay, never mind. We're fine. We're fine. I backed out. We're fine. The contour, if he goes like that, that looks so great. I don't like this. But he goes like that. I feel like that's a lot. Maybe this goes in circles. And his looks great. And mine looks like, I don't know, like I've been dragged across the floor. It's fine. It's fine. It looks like I have rosacea. Like I didn't even put on foundation. Okay, we're brushing off the cooking of the contour. That's what he's doing. But he doesn't take his blush off. So we're brushing off that. I mean, what's the point of putting it on? Because you can't even see it now because you covered it in freaking whatever stuff. You know? We're going to take the Makeup Ever Mist and Fix and I'm just going to spray that on the face. Oh, okay. Yeah, you ready? Pretending. Okay, cool. So I already did my brows off of camera. Let me know if you guys want to see an updated brow. Should I look up his brow routine or should I just fill these in? I mean, it looks like he just filled his in. And then put a little bit of, like concealer under so that's what we're gonna do this thing a pencil is still for my mom I don't know what he used because he doesn't do his on camera but we're just gonna brush mine I've been told I really don't need to fill in my eyebrows because they're so like dark this is probably isn't my color but that's okay in my book don't you have to like brush through it to make it look natural or something like brush away some of the product on top I don't know, I'm just pretending I know what I'm doing. I really don't know what I'm doing. That's also very not the same color as my hair. Is that, is it supposed to be the same color as your hair? I don't know, I don't know how this works. And now I'm gonna take the Smashbox 24 hour primer and that's gonna okay. put my lids. If oh, concealer, I forgot about concealer. We got this, it's fine. I'm just using my concealer as primer because I don't have primer. Why does that kind of look pretty on camera? Why do I like concealer on top? First things first, I'm going to take Sorbet Shadow by Anastasia. So for those two colors, I'm going to use this one from Rose's uh, CoverGirl True Naked. And then I'm going to use the Strange from earlier from the Naked 3 palette um, for whatever he's doing with it, because I really don't know. So he's very, like, gingerly putting it above his crease. Oh my god, wait a minute. Frickity frickin'. I forgot they use this for stage makeup at my play, so I just put green eyeshadow on me. Oh no. Okay, we're just gonna spread a ton of pink until that green disappears. Yeah, get out of here, green. God, this is what happens when you let theater kids use your makeup. They literally took it without asking, and I was so mad. I mean, he went gingerly. I guess that's not happening for us, you know? Take off some of that because I'm not down for a green pink eyeshadow look. We're just trying to catch up here, children. The stuff cup, like, is gone, so I don't know what it's called, but that's like kind of pink. It's slightly darker than this one, so we're gonna use that. Okay, I'm start etching out the crease more and really give me that definition lower than the other shades and kind of winging it out as well. Do you guys see that? It's really not coming off, is it? Okay, change of plan. This thing doesn't work very well. And we're going to use a much darker color. We're going to use Limit in Naked 3 because it's darker but it's still pink-ish. Like it's a nudie pink. It'll show up. So you see the wing it. And go in the crease. How do you wing things? I'm just going to gonna wing it. I'm going to take Cherry Cola by Mega Geek on a more ah, wait. So I'm going in the roses. True Naked CoverGirl one. We're gonna use this one. Um, it's not as dark, but it's the closest color I have with the palettes that I brought. He's just taking it right here. And he's kind of in a straight line. He's not like curving with it, you know? I hate doing things in front of people. I feel like that's why I'm doing really bad. Or maybe I'm just bad at makeup. Who knows? Same thing, you know? Pure eye polish base top coat. And it's supposed to be like an eye base for shadows. So I'm gonna use that to kind of carve out my cut crease a little bit. You can always use concealer for this. If you okay, great. I was gonna use concealer. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna do this in the mirror so I don't mess up. So that's like my lid. My lids are really small. So you're just supposed to do the lid, or do you do more? Oh, why do I feel like something on my face is burning? It's fine. I'm just gonna die. It's okay. Okay, that definitely cleaned it up. I'm. <laughs> Thank you. All right, how's that? Now I gotta do the other side. I definitely think that this side is better. I'm not really sure. What do you think? Lid, I'm gonna go on top of that with an eyeshadow. L'Oreal Infallible Shadow in the shade Amber Rush. So we're gonna take Dust 
in the Naked 3 palette and use it on the lid like he did. Okay, I feel like the eyeshadow on this one kind of ruined the nice line I had. We're gonna leave it like that. Yeah. You can't even see it because so I'm so far, hooded. Like, I'm gonna take the, the liquid liner in Trooper, I think it's called. And we're just gonna do an eyeliner with this look. No rhyme or reason. I'm I just gonna go ahead and do eyeliner. You can do it however you want to do it. If you want. I don't have a liquid liner, so we're gonna take that eyeshadow. I have black eyeshadow in the Nudes True Naked CoverGirl one. Um, it's a black one right here, and we're gonna take the eyeliner pencil. This I feel like I'm gonna wear it. ruin all my work. I've never put eyeliner on before. How's that? I feel like that looks okay. Oh no! Oh no! This one was kind of okay. <laughs> I look like Cleopatra. I don't know what happened. It's weird. Why did it curve? I didn't do that. Well, I did because I'm the one doing makeup, but I don't know. Okay, we're just gonna pretend that that didn't happen. I'm Cleopatra. Hello. This one, I like this one. This one turned out pretty okay. Dusty Rose from Anastasia, and I'm gonna put that on the lower lash line. I can't see anything in my camera. I don't know how YouTubers do this. Yeah, the eyeliner's really good. The eyeshadow on this side is doing real well. Put on the eyeliner on it. Try on. Oops, I put way too much on this side. Good job. Tart and a rim liner in the shade Nude just to open up the eyes a little bit more. I'm I don't have that. The corner of the eye. I forgot to highlight it. I'm gonna take that same Burberry highlighter on this. Oh no, it took away a ton of my color. We'll pretend I didn't just mess all of that up. Pair of lashes and we're done with the eye final. Lashes. Okay, I don't have lashes. We're putting on mascara. So I go in with the I Heart Extreme Voluminous Mascara. I just got this. I don't know how I feel about it. And then I usually, depending on what kind of a day I'm having, I go in with the L'Oreal Paris Telescope Mascara. Um, and I do a little bit behind a little bit in the front just to make it slightly longer because it's not really like It's pretty but it doesn't have a lot of length and then I put a little bit on the bottom Because he put a little bit on the bottom. We'll Here's my problem. I don't like putting The mascara on the bottom. I feel like it just makes it look weird Especially in person and you have to be really careful with this mascara because it clumps them together Instead of just leaving them separate. So I put a little bit on the bottom a little bit on the top Oh, we're not done. First, I'm going to take the Marc Jacobs lip liner in the shade Primrose, I believe it's called. Awesome, so now I'm going to go in with Charmed Lip. Okay, I'm back and I have lipstick. Um, I think this one's a little more pinky toned than his. It's Flower by, it doesn't have a brand name, but the number is LS3. There, I don't know what that means, but sure. And it's a lipstick, not a lip gloss or a matte. Because it's like the only one that like kind of matched in color. Okay, so this is the final look. I'm going to go into my mom's bathroom because it has much better lighting to do a little like, ha, look at me, I'm so cute, whatever thing. So this is the finished look. Um, this turned out to be a lot more challenging in different places than I thought it would be. I originally thought that like the hardest part for me would be the eyes. Um, and I didn't know he was doing eyeliner so I, you know when that happened I immediately was like I can't do this. Like I was just going to skip out on it. But I think this one turned out pretty well considering it's eyeshadow. I don't know what happened to that. Um, but it turned out <laughs> since I didn't have any of the products and I would never used them before this, the bronzer, or the contour, whatever you want to call it, did just it doesn't blend and it didn't turn out well and it just looks weird and light. And I didn't like the eyeshadow, it just looks like I have rosacea and stuff like that. But it's pretty. Uh, this was like really fun to try. I just got very like stressed and like frustrated. Not like frustrated, but I was just like, oh, <laughs> you know? No, oh, if you guys want me to do another one, I was thinking of maybe doing uh, Tana Mojo's or like I can get a new makeup palette and maybe do 
like a crazy colored one. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe. I don't know. I don't usually say this kind of stuff. Uh, like the video. Comment something down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.